Legend of Total War here with part 39 of my Rome 2 Legendary Let's Play campaign. Okay, so previously I took Pergamon, um, and basically just trying to make decisions on whereabouts I should expand. Obviously I have overextended my empire, but there is a good reason for that, is that I need the level, the next level of Imperium, which I think that might be two or three or maybe even four more regions, and I get it. And that would be very good because then I could hire some more legions. And then I wouldn't be overextending because I could hire more troops, basically. Because I've got the income for it now. Um, thanks to the technology, they reduced, uh, reduced my uh, corruption by quite a bit. And... Okay, that just improved. I wonder why that was. I thought that was at 12% before. I must have taken a region that's got the um, some bonuses. Um... I can't check everything. And that's minus 15% to corruption and plus 4 public order to all provinces. So that's very useful. Uh, but of course, 11 turns away. You know, that's a long time. Now, I need to think more along the lines of conquest. Um, I've already dealt with Ibosim. And I've got a new fleet it is here. To serve Rome. Providing some level of garrison. Now they're assault quadriremes. Um, if they die, it's not really the end of the world, but maybe I should have thought about that a little bit more before auto-resolving, because they, you know, 120 men is still better than 84, and these guys could attack. I mean, they're not great, I mean, they're pretty shit troops, but I've got absolutely nothing here, and these guys are probably going to attack as well. And, of course, I moved these guys At your command. to attack here. I want to attack. I want to attack it right now, but I can't because um, they're on forced march. Because I couldn't quite make it. They came all the way from Isle over here. And I'm trying to protect this region as well. And I've taken Midgol. I've got them raiding. Basically keeping an eye on those barbarian motherfuckers or whatever. Um... These guys have landed in Italy, but they're not going to fight. They're not. They're not dangerous, but I can't bloody well kill them because I can't take garrison troops out to fucking fight them. Uh, and they came and blockaded the port, cost me bloody two thousand denarii last turn just for big pricks, which really fucking pisses me off. That we can't kind of like intercept them or something. Right now, there's an army over here. Ready with, they're ready to move out. Now, I can either take on Sing, uh, Singdinia, Singdinum, or Sing, uh, Singidun, or I can take on Pulpadiva. Now, taking on Pulpadiva means damaging probably a better region, I think. So, that's 997. I doubt I'd get all that money. And this one is more Celtic, and that's in... It's in Pannonia. I'm pretty sure there's a mission where I need to take... It. Look at that. If I completely control 10 provinces, then I've finished this mission. Now, how much of this have I done? I have barely done any of this. Uh, hold at least one settlement in Pannonia. That's Pannonia. Ugh. Okay, and... Wow, I'm not even close to there. Um, I haven't done hold the entirety of at least one of the following provinces. I haven't done any of that. And research, no, nope, haven't done that at all. Okay, well that's no even cl um, close to holding ten provinces though. So I just need to decide which to take. Pulpadiva or Sing Singidun. Fucking stupid name. Um, if I take Singidun, then... That eliminates the Daorsi, which are not anywhere near here anyway. But I am at war with them, and I've got to deal with these guys up here in the north as well. But at the same time, I've got to deal with these guys. I don't have enough armies to be everywhere at once. If I had to choose, I'm probably leaning towards taking Singidun. Because... I just don't know. 
These guys aren't a big th Okay, I'll see which one is the bigger threat. Of course, the the, uh, the Celtic Confederations is going to be a bigger threat. But let me just see. So, they're not much of a threat. These guys are much less of a threat. But that will eliminate them if I go and fight them there. And what about these guys? Do they like me? No, they fucking hate me. They're actually at war with me. And that's right, because I need to stop them from... What about these guys? What are they doing? Oh, these guys... Okay, they're Breuki. They're the ones that are... Here, right? These are the Breuki. I'm not at war with these guys. Why are they bordering my land? The fuck faces. They're planning an attack. Right, I thought it was these guys before. The, um, beefy. I'm going to think about something else in regards to that. I'll come back to that in a moment, I think. Now, this guy over here... Ready for I don't know why I bothered to take Big Bracte. I need him at Trevororum, uh, ready to raid it. Which is funny. Uh, actually, what about Vesontio? If I raid Vesontio, it will rebel. That much is certain. No, it's not actually. No, it won't. It's going down. It still takes six turns before it rebels entirely. But I live to serve Rome. Oh man, it's hard to decide now. What if I just let the rebels take it and I go after fucking Cenobum, which I could actually reach? Oh, but that's I'm actually not at war with them. So, probably not a good idea just yet. I could take on uh, Nemes Nemesos. Nemosos. Fucking bloody things. Um, we hunger for battle. These guys here, they need to be raiding. But at the same time, they also need to be stopping these. I think these guys, because they got pushed into a different region, they're probably going to go after Tolosa. But Tolosa here has some men. And they've got barely anything. So maybe if they went and attack, I'd actually win. Command. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stay right here At once. and raid. What you don't steal, burn. Yep. And that'll stop them from attacking Massalia, which they're probably not going to anyway. I may need to f defeat them next turn uh, to stop them from taking Tolosa. I have no idea. Ready for orders. Yeah, okay, this whatever. Order. Okay. Um, Bibrakte. These guys. Battle. Get to Forced March and make your way to Trevororum, get I think. Moving, or do I want to... Do I want to raid in Vesontio? Because uh, I only need to use up 50% of his movement, and then I can select raid. Because these guys, they're not going to revolt this turn. They're not. And even if they did, if I've got the Roman village, then I'm going to be okay if they attack straight away, because I'll have legionaries. So, maybe I'll go piss off Vizantio a little bit. I think that would be the best option. It's very risky stuff that I'm doing here. Well, it's always very risky. Anything I do, it has to be high risk, or else it's not worth doing. Okay, so that's almost 50% of the we movement there. That's Is good, that and of course I can select Raid. As long as they've still got 50% of their movement, it's going to bring that down to... Okay, yeah, that'd, that'd be fine. Okay, and then Raid. Take what you can, boys. And this region here, I'm just going to let that fucking rot. Um, that's going to revolt next turn. I don't want it to revolt. I'd rather, if, I'd rather just not tax it. Oh, nothing I could fucking do about it. No. Provincial instability? Why is that at 20? Fuck it, let the rebels have it. Pricks. Ready for battle. And this place here, it'll be fine. Uh, it needs a good temple that's going to give public order. And that is the Sacred Grove. And at Trevororum, it'll be okay for one more turn, right? Yes, just one more. And then, of course, 
I'll send him over there to, or well, hopefully he can make it to here to raid again and basically deal with the rebellion and these guys are probably, this city here, I'll turn the tax off because I don't want it to revolt. I can't deal with two rebellions at the same time. Okay, so... Here again. Need to think about my options. I've got two enemies that need to be defeated. I mean, this guy can technically take That's on Sigdinium once um, Illyria here is locked down a little bit tighter. Um, so, alright, if that's the case, I will go at take on the, pulp, the uh, Celtic Confederation and defeat them. I think that would be the best option, now that I've had a bit of a think about it. So, I'll go and do that. Let them cower before Rome. And they've got an army inside the city too, so that's great, that means I can fucking destroy that too. Besieging the settlement! Now, what are these? Are they Greek or are they Celtic um, bloody uh, culture? They're Thracian, basically, so that's both. Thracian skirmishes, they're not really going to come in. I don't think I'm going to have any problem. Uh, I co of course, I can't auto-resolve this. I have to do it manually. Okay, so, this is just going to be a standard kind of battle, I think. I've seen these kind of settlements before. It's nothing particularly new. You know, I when I first got this game, or saw the game was about to come out and all the trailers and stuff, I thought that they'd make each individual city sort of unique, and they haven't done that at all. They're just generic. They're all fucking generic. So it's a little bit disappointing in that regard. Okay, actually, no, I don't think I've seen a city like this before. It's, it is different, but that's probably because it's the first time I've actually gone up against Thracian culture in a capital type situation. It's not easy access in regards to getting to their, um, their gates. I'm not going to need to use the cavalry at all. I'm going to be heavily outnumbered, but my legionary troops will, of course, just smash right through them, I think. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. I don't see any men on the wall there, so that's good. I don't see any men on the wall here. Wait, what, what, what was that? Oh, okay, there, there's the men on the wall. Something close, but not too close. And over here, we've got to get to this point over here. So, move there. Wait, can you go by a safer route, please? Oh, they've got men on the on the thing here as well. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Ready and waiting. Can you go by a different route, please? Come over this way. Oh, don't fucking die. Isn't there fucking fire javelins and all that kind of shit? You guys need to burn down that gate really fucking quick. Good thing there's no boiling oil. We've got the exact same thing going on here. Taken a couple of casualties, but nothing too major. Fucking well, get on with it, boys. I 
many of these guys will get blown up when that this burns out. And we will fucking smash these Thracian warriors as well. They shouldn't be standing so close to the gate. I reckon some of these guys will get blown up. So this Celtic Confederation, uh, I reckon that is basically the nation of uh, Thrace from uh, Rome 1. They just changed the name. Come on, burn down already. Oh shit, these guys are taking some casualties. Nope, none of them destroyed. died. That's okay. Get inside. But a few of them did die on the wall, so it doesn't really make up for those who were lost. But now that they can get into melee, uh, melee, um, that should sort it out a bit. And how are these guys doing? Move them over here to begin with. Oh well. I'm not sending these guys to go and attack just yet. Wait until these guys are off the walls. Oh lag. But my Romans will be able to fucking kill these guys. Oh, don't get shot in the back though. How your kills going? Yeah, going up. These guys are getting shot. I might need to pull them back at some point. Okay, they're starting to really get some damage done to them. They've already lost nearly 30 men. Which isn't really a big deal in um, you know, the grand scheme of things, but this battle, there's a, I'm up against a lot, and they're just going to keep shooting me, aren't they? Alright, i got to get some guy up on the walls. Oh shit, I'm taking some casualties. Alright, we need to pull back. It's fucking not working from this angle. No, that's not gonna work. I'm taking too many casualties. Come on, fuck! You pull back. I never would have thought that Thrace would give me this much trouble. Alright. If I'm gonna take a lot of casualties, I might as well go all out. So what are they doing? Are they coming off the walls now? Looks like it. Okay, if that's the case, if they're coming off the walls, then that's the biggest threat out of the way. Okay, General, you may be needed. Okay, we're starting to get some routes going here, that's good. I mean, technically, I don't think I've even lost half of them yet. Oh, these guys have lost half. Oh, they're using their fucking fire javelins on my back. This is not going well. 
Yeah, they've got a couple of routes going. I mean, they're wavering. Our general is under attack. Yeah, that's fine. Now you need to use your war cry and get them bloody routing. You guys come over here. As soon as these guys have broken through here, they're getting out of there. Good, they're getting up on the walls now, so they'll hopefully be able to stop them at the very least. No, 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 no. you come over here. What a freaking disaster. They're there to cut them off now. Brave Romans to a man. Oh, come on. They're getting fucking slaughtered by peltists. Right, General, get in there and help out. Here's my equities. They're too far away to really help, but... Oh, no, they might do a little bit. Skirmishes. Thracian cavalry. Fuck faces. General. Come on, stop going so slow. I mean, as long as these battalions re retain at least maybe 12 troops, they should be okay. But man, this is a close one. I reckon I've got this just under control. Yeah, they're getting their ass kicked now. Boy, that was a fucking close one. Oh shit, I've just been... Fucking sitting here. Move out. Out. Bloody idiot. What are you doing? Oh, that's right. They're doing. They've fucking opened the gate. All right, get out of there. That was a mistake. Take out those skirmishes. And that can down. Double time. <sighs> out of my way. Yeah, don't worry about them. You guys are out of the fight now. We've had enough. You guys can come in. Take down some skirmishes or two. Where'd the general go? That's good. Shatter them as many of them as you can. Okay, here we go through here now. These guys are full strength, so they should do a lot better. Good. I don't think I've even lost a single bodyguard. Nope. You have all this, sir. Okay. I'm out of there. I don't want to get him killed. That's what the fucking equities are for. I 
I think they're completely out of like heavy infantry or anything like that or spearmen. The enemy have captured the gates. Ready and waiting. I'll use these guys to capture these things because you never know those towers might actually help me out. And my cavalry will rape these fucking skirmishes. Bloody skirmishes. Oh, they shattered easily. I think I've just won the battle. We have captured a tower. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, I'd say that the battle went yeah, decent to half shit because of how much damage these guys took and how little these guys actually performed. I would have liked to evenly distribute the amount of casualties I took amongst these guys as well. But oh well, at least the battle's over. Both armies destroyed. I don't remember fighting Bowman, but that's okay. I wasn't really watching all of it anyway. Okay, so I could sack for or loot. No, I'm not going to do that. Obviously, um, I'll occupy. At your command. And now Pulpa Diva is under my control, and it's not quite ready to revolt. So that's good. So they've got this here. That's causing public order problems. I could switch it straight over to be uh, cohort barracks, but oh, what are these guys doing? They can't reach Pella anyway. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that, to be honest. Never saw how much will that cost? Too much. This, again, too much. Because I'm almost out of money, well not almost out of money, but I don't have a huge fortune. I'm losing out a lot of uh, bloody food surplus now, so it's gone down pretty quickly. So uh, the, the uh, provincial instability is uh, still at 10. I don't understand why over here it's at friggin' nearly 20 at, um, at Bibracte. I don't understand it. Oh, right, I know. It's because I, I bloody looted. That's why. That's why. Oh, fuck. Um, well, if I lose the region, then so be it. Okay. Oh, that would mean that... Oh, that's okay. No, it's alright if I looted this. <laughs> because the provincial instability... Oh, it's going to last a long time, though. Oh, fucking idiot. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I'll never bloody loot again. Holy shit, that's bad. 20 turns it's going to take for that provincial instability to go down. That was not worth doing. I should have fucking thought of that. Anyway. Might have to deal with another rebellion at some point because of it. It's ridiculous. How am I going over here? Oh, one more region, I reckon. One more. Oh, you can't do anything. What can I do to just to take one more region? 
Ready for orders. I could probably smash this army, get rid of it, and then go after Sing Dinam. Then, of course, I'll get the rebellion right back here. Uh, it might be worth waiting a turn before taking anything else. If I can just manage to hold everything down at the end turn, which I should be able to do. Ready for battle. These guys are really experienced. Um, um, I can't see anything that I need to do in this video now. I need to do a lot of thinking about... Because I'm, I'm at another end turn. So I need to think about what I'm going to spend my money on. And plan the, the next turn. So I'm going to end the video here. Okay, so uh, like and subscribe. Part 40 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. Okay, I will see you next time.